like I told you, I have no reason, at least what I've understood of EVMs, to distrust them. At the same time, I will not say, oh, it's completely great, purely because of the other environment around that no one's coming clean. Like, why can the election commission A? So I want to discuss two more things with you. One is the EVMs and should they not give a demonstration? Should the election commission not be talking to the press and through them to the people of India? Not one press conference has been given. Is that unusual? I remember, I mean, I don't know if one off that I've, it's in my mind as something normal. But I remember very often the election commission sitting, in fact, with you and Mr. Chavla, I remember. Uh, I don't know if that was a one-off thing, but I remember that visual in my head uh, uh, of, of you taking questions and addressing whatever concerns there are. This election commission doesn't want to take any questions. Well, and therefore, why should I trust it? Why? Should, why? Uh, then they have something to hide. Yeah, I think this is a grave mystery because communication is uh, extremely important. Even if I'm very camera shy, media shy, very shy person, I speak very little, I have no business to be quiet. Because as a chief election commissioner, as an election commissioner, nation wants to know from me what I think of the machine, what I think of this, for their trust. Therefore, communicating uh, quickly and strongly, effectively is uh, very important. Keeping quiet, uh, no, no, we don't talk, we are very shy people, that's not acceptable. They must uh, come out in the open and if a question is raised more than once, they have to reply more than once. So to say that in 2009, in 2009, the, what you are mentioning, the image that you have in your mind, we had called uh, open challenge, you come and uh, hack in front of us. Uh, we uh, will have video cameras, uh, we want everything to be recorded, uh, nothing uh, to be done slightly. So nobody, they, uh, people came, but the, nobody really, the tried to tinker with the machine and then uh, later on I think 2014-15 also it was repeated again the two parties came and not to uh, uh, challenge the machine just to uh, have a conversation with the with the election commission so if uh, now the uh, controversy earlier the opposition was coming from the, the political parties and I personally feel my experience is that uh, political parties they are the second biggest stakeholders after the voters themselves so right. they, they have to be taken seriously now they are begging for appointment and election commission not giving them appointment what is this they, this is not discretion they are paid salaries to do this job and this is a part of their job